What's up guys and welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create the logo spin effect. This one is super impactful. It makes your viewers go crazy. So we kick off the YouTube tutorial series. First long form tutorials in English with this amazing effect. So let's dive right in. So here we are in After Effects and first of all we want to create a new project and we import our footage. In my case is this uh, Lamborghini clip so I drag it into my timeline and the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new comp. So just drag our clip onto this icon so we create a new composition and in this composition I just quickly show you the clip. I already did like the speed ramping and finished everything around it so we just have to do the last effect that's the logo spin effect. I recommend you also to do the speed first and the stabilization and have your clip almost finished and then do the logo flip so it's easier to calculate the timing and place the effect exactly where you want it to happen. So first of all we need to copy our clip simply by clicking command D and then we need to go to find the place where we want the logo spin to start. When we go in here that's a good time to start a flip and that's perfect. It's really important that you see the logo clear it has to be sharp because we need to mask it out and then do the flip. Right click the clip and go to time and freeze frame. Boom, we just freeze the whole frame. But well, that's exactly what we want to do. So uh, we go to the beginning, shorten our clip just by dragging it to our timeline sliders. So what we have right now, we just have a freeze frame and it starts right where it has to start. Perfect, all we need to do now is to mask out our logo. And we simply zoom in a little bit, make sure you select your layer and choose the pen tool. And now we can draw our mask. Okay, awesome, we're done, we have our mask and if we turn off the bottom layer, we can actually see what we have done and if we're happy, if it's clean enough, otherwise uh, if we press M, it opens up the mask. If we choose mask, we can reshape our mask, but this is working for me. We open up the mask options and we can feather the mask softly, pretty works for me, so it's not too hard of an edge. Activate our bottom layer again so we see what's actually happening. So we have a mask of our logo. Boom. And here we want to flip and now we actually decide the duration of our logo spin. And we do this by scrubbing through the timeline and here we go out again. So the logo should be back at place around here before we kick out again. And then we drag our freeze frame mask logo layer of the length, we want the duration of the spin. And what we do right now is we transform the 2D layer we have right now, the logo spin, into a 3D layer. So we can do nice animations and cool keyframing. And we do this just by simply clicking on this button and it transform it into a 3D layer. We can completely move and rotate. And then we go at the begin of the frame and make sure we keyframe scale and we bring up scale by pressing S and we bring up position by pressing P and keyframe position. We also want to keyframe the rotation, X rotation, Y and Z and that's because we want to keyframe the whole motion of the logo spin and that's our base, that's our starting point. We want to make sure to keep this information for the first keyframes and now to bring up all of the keyframes, the magic key it's U. So when you press U you see all the parameter you affected with keyframes. This can be super helpful. We have the first keyframe, it's safe. That's the first frame, it's clean. And now we are moving to the last frame. And what we have to do here is select our layer and then we make sure that's exactly in the same position as the actual logo behind it. So yeah, we move it, we do the rotation and correct the scale. So we actually match as good as possible I think this works for us. It's not 100% clean, but since we're gonna do a fast movement, it's not too bad. So I think this is pretty good. And what we do now, we go into the middle where we want the logo actually to spin and go up. And now to make it look like it, the logo is going up, we just have to change the scale, boom. And we can also change the position. So now, since we already created keyframes, every time we move the logo, it's automatically creating keyframes. That's awesome. And you see here the path of the logo, actually. This is starting in the CCDN. Yeah, exactly. So right now, what it looks like, it goes up and goes back down. 
boom the transition looking clean looking good so what we do right now is we want to spin it we want the rotation and to get the rotation we want the y x to spin i mean you can do also the other axis like the x rotation but i think the y axis looks the best we do another keyframe here in the middle choose two boom and if we choose two it just keep spinning in the same direction. And now we are gonna smooth it a little bit because it doesn't look too good right now. And to make it look more dynamic, we can actually work with the keyframe parameters. So I would recommend to uh, select them all at the beginning, go to ease out, go to the end, select them all, go here to ease in, and the middle keyframes, we can choose easy ease. And what we've done, if we click on the graph here, you see now, we have a really, really smooth, smooth keyframes. And even if you want to smooth them more, you just uh, select the parameters. And with the, with the yellow dot here, you can uh, move the curves so it gets faster. And I really like if there is a fast motion in the middle and it slowly comes back down. So that's where, that's where the graphic and the effect actually comes to life in my mind. So try just to copy this this graph like this ramps and we have a look now boom you see the difference that's crazy right awesome so when we are here we want to cut the clip again so the clip's actually ending so right now this animation already looks good and now we simply add motion blur because if something happens fast or moves fast we need to see motion blur right and that's pretty simple in after effects that's why i love to work here you just have to activate motion blur here and you make sure that's already selected in the composition and there you see the difference it moves up and it moves down and it has natural motion blur that's amazing i love this feature and now we create the clean plate so when the logo goes up we want to see a clean clean background here so the logo is actually missing and goes back in place so we copy our base layer we can just rename that to into the base and that's the logo and then we copy it again with command d and call it a clean plate and with the clean plate layer selected you just want to uh, draw a mask again where the transition starts. So we turn off the logo flip layer we created here and we turn off the base layer. We just have the base layer in case we need to choose again the pen tool up here or just use G. And then what we want to do is draw a rough mask around the logo. Bring up the mask with M and choose subtract mode here. And right now it's black, that's perfect. It's exactly what we want to do. And then choose the mask path to keyframes. So just press the stopwatch here to create keyframes for your mask. And then we go through the clip and make sure the mask is always covering the logo completely. That's really important. So yeah, correct the mask. If you see the logo at some point, yeah, make sure it's always covered. What you want to do now is go to Windows and bring up the content aware fill window. And then you can actually choose edge blend. That's really important. You have the work area and now you can just click generate fill layer. So start from the beginning, generate fill layer. And now After Effects actually creates some PNG layers and we won't see the logo in this particular time. And that's amazing. So pretty simple to get rid of the logo. So we wait till the rendering is done. Boom, rendering is done. We have our fill layer right here and it's looking good, nice. Uh, one thing to smooth out things even more is to drag out the fill layer down below your mask layer and then go to the mask options and feather the mask around five and scale up the fill PNG sequence here a little bit. I found this is really helpful to get even cleaner results. Let's have a look. This is pretty good. So we can actually cut the, the PNG sequence to the same duration of the logo spinning and we turn on, that's really important, the base layer. So we see the logo at the end again. Let's turn on the logo layer and see what we've created. Yes, this is amazing. That's clean, that works for me. So this is actually it. This is the effect, the logo spin, but you can even do a little bit more with it. For example, we could just copy the logo uh, with command D again and bring up the keyframes pressing U and then in the middle we can choose to change the position so maybe you want another one spinning up here a little bit down and even copy that one again and move the other one to the other side so what we've created right now the logo comes out 
and we have three logos coming out of the car. I think that's pretty cool. You can get creative with that and you can do even more with it. You can create shadows with just copying all the logo layers and pre-composing it. Yes, what this is what we call it. Go back into our comp and when we move it now a little bit down, we can just uh, darken it. So we choose the Lumetri color effect, go to basic, exposure goes down. Uh, we also search for the effect fast box blur and we increase the blur radius, something like that. Et voila, you have a nice looking shadow. You can scale it even down a little bit. Place it here so it makes sense. Maybe place it here, comes in. We can even like lower the opacity a little so it's not too bad. And the opacity comes in from here, from zero to 100, for example. Yeah, so just creating these keyframes so it moves in and out. Uh, 63 percentage to zero again. So it might already go this way here, so something like that. Boom! Yes guys, and that's it. That's the logo spin effect with some varieties and some cool play arounds. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned a lot today. Make sure to subscribe because we are gonna create more of these long form tutorials to show you in detail how to create cool effects in Premiere Pro and After Effects. So let me know in the comments what you think, what tutorials you want to see and how do you enjoy this series. So thanks a lot and I hope I see you in the next video.